Hey guys, in the last video we went ahead and fixed our nav bar, so that's now working. We also uh, created our widgets, our sidebar widget area, along with some customized widgets. So now what I want to do is add a search bar in the in the nav bar. All right, so we're going to go to our header file and go down to where we have this empty form, and we're going to add some stuff to it. So first thing, we're going to add a method. And the method's going to be get. Okay, class. We can actually change this left. I want to put it on the right. All right, we also need to add an action. Okay, and the action, we're going to use PHP tags and we're going to say echo escape URL. All right, because we're we want the URL checked and escaped. All right, and we're going to use home underscore URL. And in here we just want slash. Okay, so basically we're just submitting to the home URL. Now, as far as the fields, we're just going to want one field for the search, uh, but let's add a label. So label and we'll say for navbar search. So I'm going to give it a class of SR only. say PHP underscore E uh, search and this is just for localization this underscore E and then we need a second parameter of a text domain alright let's close up those PHP tags and let's see under the label let's do div class form group and in here we're going to have an input we'll give it a type of text and give it a class of form control which is just a bootstrap class and let's say name we'll call it s for search let's give it an id of navbar search. Okay, and then we need to submit. So, whoops. So we'll say button. We'll give it a type of submit and give it class of BTN and BTN default. Okay, and then for the text, I'm just going to copy this, what we have here. There we go. All right, let's save it. And let's do a search for Larum. It gives us those. Okay, let's search for the word one, two. All right. So now we have a search bar, and the last thing that we need to do is the single post, okay, the single post page. So what we'll do is let's close up the header file, and we're going to create a file in our theme root, and let's save this, and we're going to save it as single.php. Now just creating this file, if I go and click on one of these blog posts, it's completely blank because it's it's automatically looking at the single.php page. All right, so what I want to do is copy everything that we have in index. Okay, so I'm going to copy all of it, put it in the single, save it, and then if we go and reload, it looks the same exact way as the index page. All right, so let's go in and change some of that. So what we want to do we want to uh, let's let's remove this if has post thumbnail 
all together. All right, so I'm going to go down to where it says else, and I'm going to cut out from there up to the actual if statement, and then we need to go down and get rid of this end if. All right. Okay, because if there's an image or not, it doesn't matter with the way that we're going to be formatting it. All right, so we do want the image though, so we're going to put it. Uh, let's see, let's put it right under the heading, and I'm just going to paste this in. Okay, so we're just we're putting in the thumbnail or the featured image if there is one. All right, so let's save that and see what that looks like. Okay, so we have our big image now. Let's put a line break underneath it as well. Okay. So we don't want the read more, and we also want the full content, not the excerpt. Okay, so let's get rid of the read more. And instead of the get the excerpt, let's do get the content. I think that should work. Yep. Actually, let's change this to the content and get rid of the echo. Okay, also, let's change this class. There we go. So now it renders the HTML as well. So that's the single page. Now we're going to have to have comment functionality as well. So we're going to stop here, and in the next video, we'll create a section for the comments as well as the comment form.